This video gives you a look at how loot and gear can be discovered and used in Darksiders 2. The loot system is one of the coolest things about Darksiders 2. New armor and weapons are found all the time, so you're always improving Death's gear. You mostly find new loot inside of treasure chests, but enemies sometimes drop gear when you kill them, too. Whenever you find a new piece of gear, just walk up to it, and a small window will appear. This window gives a quick glance at the stat changes that will occur when you equip the item. If you like what you see, just press and hold a button to instantly equip the item without having to pause and visit the inventory screen. You can also call up the Chronicle to take a closer look at all of Death's gear. Flip to the inventory screen, then use the triggers to navigate the inventory submenus. You'll see that Death can equip a variety of gear, including his primary sights, along with special secondary weapons, such as axes and claws. These weapons can be used in conjunction with the scythes to create tons of different attack combos. Check out the important stat changes that will occur as you cycle through your gear. Death can also equip armor to boost his defense. Cycle through the rest of the inventory submenus and make sure that Death is wearing something to protect his hands, feet, body, and shoulders. Death can only equip one item to each area. Make sure he's covered everywhere to gain the most benefit. Death can also equip special talismans that grant unique advantages. The benefits of a talisman can be almost anything, like a boost to Death's health or an improved chance to discover valuable loot. There are all sorts of different talismans, and it pays to keep them handy for different situations. All gear falls into one of six categorical tiers. From lowest to highest, the tiers are Common, Uncommon, Rare, Elite, Possessed, and Legendary. Common gear has a white font in the menus. Uncommon gear has green. Rare gear has a blue font, and Elite gear has purple. Possessed and Legendary gear both share a similar yellowish hue, but they function quite differently from one another. Legendary weapons are powerful, one-of-a-kind tools of destruction. You often find these after defeating boss enemies or completing special quests. A few legendary weapons are also hidden and can be found through exploration. Legendary weapons are great, but only possessed weapons can be leveled up. Once you've discovered a possessed weapon, select it in the inventory screen and choose to upgrade it. This calls up a menu that displays all of the gear that can be sacrificed to increase the possessed weapon's experience. Watch the possessed weapon's XP bar fill as you sacrifice other items to it. High-level gear will give more XP than low-level gear. Each time a possessed weapon levels up, it gains new or improved stat modifiers. These stat modifiers can be influenced by those of the weapons you sacrifice. For example, weapons that provide a boost to death's strength can increase the possessed weapon's strength modifier, or even add the strength modifier to the possessed weapon if it doesn't already have it. You can level up a possessed weapon five times. In addition to weapons, armor, and talismans, you can also find potions and gold inside of treasure chests. Gold and potions can also be found by smashing environmental clutter, such as old crates and bases. In short, swing death scythes at everything you see for a chance to break it open and score more gold or a potion. Gold is good to have, because it lets you buy things off of merchants, like potions and gear. In addition to gold, the demonic merchant Vulgrim also demands special boatman coins if you choose to purchase his goods. Always keep a lookout for boatman coins. You can find 100 of these special coins if you know where to look.